Friends, this is a very hard cataract. You can see the cataract appears almost black. Let us watch the surgical steps. This is the main incision. It is a 2.8 millimeter incision. Now, one side port has been made about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. The main incision is at around 11 o'clock. Now, a big air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber. This is tripon blue dye. I always stain the anterior capsule in black cataracts, black and brown cataracts with tripon blue dye so that I can see the rexis margin if necessary in later steps of surgery. Now, in such cataracts, I always try to do a large rexis. This is HPMC. That is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose being used as the viscoelastic substance. The corneal epithelium has been coated with the same viscoelastic substance that is HPMC. Now another side port is made at around two and a half clock hours away from the main incision on the left side for introduction of chopper. Now this is Rexis 26 case band needle. In sizes, the anterior capsule and a capsular tag is raised. Now I take a ureta forceps. So ureta forceps should be should not depress the posterior leaf. Always tend the anterior leaf of the main incision, and leakage of viscoelastic substance will be minimal. Remember, always tend the anterior leaf of the main incision and leakage of viscoelastic substance will be very minimal and you will be able to complete rexis very comfortably with this. So this is a large capsular rexis about 6 mm and it may be even a little more than 6 mm. Now I am doing hydro dissection very gently. In this case, just hydrodissection at one point could mobilize the cataract and we can see that the nucleus rotated freely. And now is the time to enter into the eye to fight with this very hard cataract. And the machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 FACO machine. This is a very small machine but very stout machine. And I am using almost 95% energy. Yes, 95. That is 95% FECO energy. I am in FECO on mode. FECO power is 95%. FECO, uh, FECO flow rate is 25 ml per minute. And vacuum is 80 millimeter of mercury. And now I am in bevel down position. And I am sculpting and making a pit, making a crater at the center of this hard nucleus, that is at the anterior pole of this hard cataract. You can see that it looks like granite. I did a granite cataract few months back and it looks almost like that, even harder than that. So a pit is being made and after I reach a certain depth, I rotate the FECO tip, make its bevel up. I sculpt for some more depth. And after that, my plan is to start chopping this. Now I am in FECO 2 mode. FECO energy is 95%. Yes, the same. 95% FECO energy. Flow rate at this time is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate and vacuum, I don't change mass in surgeries. I just change the power. And I use continuous mode. Yes not pulse mode, not micro pulse mode, it is 
pulse mode it is just continuous energy and i never get unburn i never cause endothelial damage because i use energy only when i have to emulsify something otherwise i just stop at this time i have rotated the nucleus 180 degree and i am trying to separate it it is separated almost but at one point it is still attached i didn't try to separate it further because i am causing lot of junular stress at this time so i rotate it and this is one heminucleus i'm trying to divide this heminucleus into two parts yes i have been almost successful at this time my bss bottle gets over so i come out and i inject viscoelastic substance spmc again and now i take two instruments one chopper another sinski hook chopper in my left hand and sinski hook in my right hand and i'm trying to separate the pieces yes i have been able to separate the nuclear fragments at least two heminucleus has been met and this other two parts yes that also now the nucleus has got three parts one big heminucleus and other two hemi other heminucleus has been divided into two parts and now i am going into the eye again with the feco handpiece here it is and this easy tip is marvelous surprisingly i don't get blockages of this tip it never gets blocked even with this hard cataract it doesn't block in other machines i have used i had to just uh frequently manually clear the tubings by syringe with bss pushing bss but in this machine surprisingly the tip doesn't get blocked probably because it gets emulsified inside and it now this is the other heminucleus which has been divided into two parts with the help of eco energy the two parts were attached near the uh, center of the nucleus i just tilted the that part and applied feco energy where the two parts were joined and it gave in that's it the one heminucleus is managed now this is other heminucleus i come out to inject some visco elastic substance to protect the corneal endothelium yes if the cataract is very hard we should come out in between inject visco elastic substance and again start rotating this nucleus and bringing the pieces in front of the opening of the feco tip and here it is i'm going again into the eye some more visco and again i enter into the anterior chamber feco power used in feco 2 is 95% in this case and flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury at this time i can see some prolapse of iris but the people are nicely dilated and it has 
been dilated well throughout the surgery. Uh, now at this time the pupil is tending to become little small but still it is quite well dilated and the surgery can be managed nicely. When the viscoelastic substance is inside the chamber, initially we have to make a pocket. We have to aspirate the viscoelastic substance, make a pocket free of viscoelastic substance just above, just adjacent to the nuclear piece and then apply full energy particularly with viscoat. The viscoat can occlude the passes of phaco tiff and we have to aspirate that first and then emulsify the nuclear fragments. I'm going slow because this is the last nuclear fragment I had to come out because I saw the nuclear prolapse I wanted to inject some viscoelastic substance over the posterior capsule to push the posterior capsule behind the iris prolapsed through the side port I just reposited the iris and now I have to go again into the eye and only small nuclear fragment is remaining we have been able to remove most of it at this time I am at iris plane I am keeping an eye on the posterior capsule the posterior capsule and the antechamber is stable. The posterior capsule is far behind. And this is the la At this time, I have asked my assistants to come down to FECO on mode where the FECO power is 90%, 95%, flow rate is 25 and vacuum is only 80 Yes, with very less vacuum, I can emulsify and remove this last pieces. And now I gently come out and reposit the iris and then remove the chopper. So whenever iris prolapses through the side port, I don't remove the chopper first. I remove the FACO T first and then the chopper. In this case, we have implanted a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. Most of the viscoelastic substance has been removed by uh, has been removed by Simco cannula, and this is a final removal of viscoelastic substance with the help of bimanual IA. And after that, I just hydrate the side ports form the entry chamber nicely and conclude the case. Dear colleagues, we must be car we must have curries in our hearts to do such catheters. Even we have very high end machine, we have to be very cautious in managing things these hard catheters. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.